You can do it if you want. How do you hit channels? That's the oracle. And this top lane, like, it, it's fine for mid one and no tail early on in the first few waves. But when Venno starts to go a few more levels, you know, the lane starts to get a, a lot more difficult. There's first blood finally coming through, and that's a kill on a Solari that gets in that. Like, when you're laning up against Undying, right? Like, Stick's pretty, pretty key. He's gone for this Bracer instead, which isn't a bad choice, but yeah. Oh, like, the damage is crazy. Like, they're, they're just spamming him out of the lane. God! Spectral Dagger into the Soul Rip just for an easy kill there. Destroyed by Celery down the bot lane. Takes a lot of the neutrals, but he might be in trouble now. They have RP. Uh, the question is, will they use it? And yeah, Seb gives it up. They've got the Sun Strike. That'll get the kill into the Grimstroke. Shaq comes over. And uh, not much he can do, and the Grimstroke will end up falling. So Seb gets the uh, kill, but so far so good for OG. Not, not that things are going horribly right now for Viking. No. As they look over, No-Tail Spectral Dagger comes in. The Tombstone committed. Now No-Tail low. He'll end up falling. Aramis gets the kill there. Sunstrike onto Aramis. Not going to land. However, they'll still get this kill. Soxa, he gets critted for the kill on Aramis, and it's a one-for-one -one trade oh, so far. Oh, but mid one, taking a lot of damage, as is Soxa. And that'll force mid one to TP back home. As Seb now bottom dies to Solari. So... They get two kills here for Viking. Two big kills there for him. Even back on this game. Oh no, it's Korea. Like he did TP back to base on this one. And that, yeah. They're gonna go for Toby. Venomous KO did hit on a Sox and they get the kill on the line, but there is the Sun Strike landing on the Toby. So now they've got the kill on a Venomancer. So Toby. Well, his life may not be in vain as Boom comes over, lands the Doom on a mid one. The chase is there, this is and really this bad. should be a return kill to the side of Viking. Shad on the jug, he just did not farm that well up towards top. Yeah, normally we see this uh, spectre go over mid. Inkswell gets popped, Topson in trouble. He'll end up dying to a Rambus. No time was having the rotation, but there's the Soulbind. Two are locked up. Doom gets committed onto Lion. So, well, Sata, he'll he be might forced be in trouble, to retreat. Yeah. He might die. Spectral Dagger thrown at Boom. How far are you going to commit for this one? Because now. The Soulbind's no longer there. They've got the Shockwave RP committed. Boom will die. They don't lose Soxa, and this is a bit too far for Viking. A bit too much of a commitment from just Boom playing that Doom. Yeah. Especially because mid one's game is not going that well right now. Things are very oh. tough. Commits the Haunt. Now the stun hits, and Toby will go down mid that haunt and Thompson gets credit for that one mid one makes the rotation and what what's the build here for Spectre now that uh mid one's got the drums looks like he's queued up the Manta style but what comes after Ooh, uh, mid hold on they're gonna look as finger hits Aramis and blows him up they'll take the three times killing spree on the Soxa not able to find anything else Toby doing a really good job of just trying to keep this mid two one alive as long as possible though dropping these uh, they gonna try and fight this They've got the tornado into the EMP, so Aramis without any mana left over. The healing war comes in, and there's the Soulbind on the two. Skewer forward, but it's really not on anybody too close. Aramis ends up dead. They look over at Solari. They could get themselves two kills at least, and they will. Soulbind got committed, so did the Doom, but Viking, they fail to evacuate the situation quickly enough and just give up a couple of kills. So that's fine. Soul Ring now with the Wing Lace. He did have Blink Looking Dagger queued up. Mid one would be in power. It's a lot of gold in the bank, but still just under 3k away from catching up to Shad. No tail with the Omni Slash bouncing around. There's the Haunt coming from the back. Solarian's in trouble as he gets it with the Cold Snap as well as the Deafening Blast. Solarian's up dead. It's going to be one gone from the side of Viking. Boom and Shad need to run, but there's the RP on a multiple heals. The Sunstrike comes through. They get the kill to Toby, and now they will go over the rest. Thompson goes down, Thompson ends up falling. Decay from No Tail continuing to try and support his team. Mid one getting low as well. He needs to be careful with the Spectral Dagger being thrown at Shad. They'll start to retreat on the side of OG. They'll TP out no till they'll get the stun on a one, but there's the blade fury from Shaq to catch up the Soxa. Aramis now fighting Seb, skewer on a two, but Seb gets low and he'll end up falling. Oh. Soxa with the finger to kill Aramis before he dies, and it's a three for two in the favor of Viking. Because the Spectre isn't a massive damage dealer right now. The Mid one needs to keep scaling here. 
to work on these ancients, but Shad just coming over and saying what's yours is mine, and it's No Tail now in some trouble. The ink swell hits, the tornado comes through, Thompson trying to do it again, but the Soulbind, ooh, is it enough? They get the No Tail, they'll trade out Solari, Doom, can you do anything with this? The Infernal Blade takes out mid one, and Thompson within the Ghost Walk is just able to squeak away. So I think they from OG. They really need this bling on Seb though now because they really lack initiation at the moment on OG. Like it's yeah. difficult for them to find like clean catches because Sax is not close to anything. I mean he has Aether Lens, but like it's not reliable, right? When you're playing up against this drug, you need the instant initiation with the hex. They're all looking to go in, and yeah, they're going to go in on Socks up with the hook shot, but there's a Spectral Dagger coming through from mid one. Struck a bait as well as Chaos Meteor going down from top. So KB did pop by boom. Now they'll use the Haunt. Infernal Blade Dude, hits, the and they'll get the kill on the Solari as well as the Ramus. They'll buy back on the Grinstroke. They've used the Poison Nova, but Toby in a little bit of trouble as the Decay comes in from No Tail, and mid one trying to fight this Venomancer. Socks so low as well as the Mute out onto Seb on this Magnus. Boom, though, he's in trouble. No longer has BKB. That's on cooldown for another 50 seconds. The Inkswell placed on the Grinstroke, but he's on the run with everybody here for Sustaino. Of OG, they'll get the kill, take out Solari for a second time, and OG come out victorious after that engagement and smoke right away. Yeah, because Doom doesn't have a huge amount of armor, he actually just has to run away. So, like, even though Seb's completely taken out the fight, they really struggled to find any pickoffs. Ooh, RP comes through. There's the Cataclysm. But with the Skewer, it's going to miss. They've got themselves the Ami Slash as well as the Hookshot coming through, but it's not going to be enough just yet. They'll take out No Tail. No Tail buys back immediately. They'll get the Kona Boom. So now without that Doom, they're in a little bit of trouble. He's gone for 52 seconds. Shad, he's already used that Ami Slash. So how much is he really worth in this engagement? But with mid one as well as Seb down, below, they're going to be forced to TP back. And now it might be an opportunity for Viking to finish off this Roche. No Tail. Thompson's getting a little bit low on mana here as well. Mid one. Moving forward, has that Manta. Trying to go after Toby. There's the Meteor dropped down, and Toby just yeah. gets blown up. But, like, what's this Soulbind, right? Like, there's no Doom up, but they, they have no play. Oh, gee, it's not exactly the easiest uh, to just grab this Roche. They need to position themselves around Rocket the pitch to make sure this second. hook shot. And Rocket Flare comes in with the Aegis picked up by mid one. They look over at Shad. Shad's in a lot of trouble. The Skewer is out, but there's the Blade Fury. He won't survive. He has gone for 53 seconds, no buyback. And Seb continuing to move forward with the rest of OG as they march towards the Viking side. They'll try to TP Aramis out, but he stops the TP. Poison Nova committed, Sunstrike won't hit, but the skewer is there from Seb. They'll get the kill into Toby and look over at the clockwork to try and finish off a third hook shot on a Seb, but it won't matter. They've got the finger and mid one there for a double kill. OG grab the Aegis and take another successful fight. Allowed mid one to really get back in it, that's for sure. Oh, they find Thompson though. This would be a massive kill if they can get it. Yeah, they've got the Doom out on them. Battery salt as well as the cog, so try to run, but the Infernal Blade is there. They'll get the kill into this Invoker. Five times free going the way of Boom. Oh, they maybe missed even though. some more. Tombstone down, Soul Binds there. Boom. Doesn't have Doom. He's already used it on the Invoker. The with the well, well, that's a two man stun. No tail in trouble. As is said, the BKB's been committed by Boom. They've got themselves the Guardian Greaves being popped by Seven. So Spectral Dagger flies in from mid one. He'll try to help out. No tail's gone. Neither of those heroes have buyback on the side of OG. Mid one, he wants to fight, but I'm not sure this is the yes, fight Aegis. that he wants to take. He does Ooh. have the Aegis. The RP's committed on a three. Seb, can he turn this around with the side of OG? I just don't think they have the damage. They look over at Solaire. They get themselves the kill on the Grinstroke. That's at least one, but they end up losing the Magnus. Poison over committed. Mid one now needs the run. The spirit vessels on him. Aramis and Toby are chasing. Venomous kills yes, thrown out. They've got themselves Chad, and that's the first life gone from this Spectre. But nobody is here to help him. The rest of the team is gone. Mid one now, haunting, trying to jump them out and trying to be slippery. Oh. Moving around as much as he can. Can he at least get a kill on the no clock? Yes, he can. And now Thompson's back. So Thompson gets into the fight. There's the tornado as well. The EMP out of out of Toby. He's in some trouble. So that's comes in. It's a little bit too far, but Toby will still die. Somehow, Mid one survives with a second life. And they've taken out two. OG start to turn. This Spectral Dagger thrown at Shad. So he needs to try and get out of this. But to Thompson's right here. They smoke up. They got to try and make something happen. And they'll find Satsa, who stops the TP. Oh! A little four staff action. They won't keep him alive, but it's... It's nice. But here come OG. They're going to try and turn this. And I know that they don't have the line, but they're going to try oh, and go the other oh, way with this. They go after Solar, but it's only going to be a Doom out of one of these heroes. They get three the Sun. Inkswell well. follows it up. That's going to be on the three of these heroes. They look over at No-Tail. There's the Omni-Slash mid-one. He's now all by himself. 
So Adi Slash bouncing around. He's got himself the haunt once again. He jumps over to Aramis. He goes for the clock. The hook shot it lands. Chaos Meteor is down, but it's not going to be enough. They look to get mid one. He's low as well as Seb. Who continuing forward. He doesn't have the BKB or Doom to work with. Skewer away one. from Seb, but they've got the Infernal Blade. They've got the control. Can they get the kill? Yes, they can. Six times free down into the drain as mid one falls. They'll continue for more. Tops into the Ghost Walk just to escape. As Boom linked forward and almost found a fourth. So like mid one, even though he's really tanky and difficult to kill, it's effectively a three versus five fight. And Seb's going to get hooked down here. Seb in trouble with the Spear Vessel on him. There's the uh, Shiva's being used. I think I called it Scotty before. But uh, yeah, this time it's Shiva's and this time it's a kill on a Seb. So he grabs themselves a kill onto this Magnus, but they end up losing the Grimstroke as he's just caught a little bit too far out. Bringing him down 100 to zero is like almost impossible unless they are here pretty much. They do see him under a sentry here, but... They've got the hex, it. and now they've got the stun, they'll hit the Get finger, it. and they blow him up. So, Haunt moving forward, Soulbind on a two, they're gonna buy back on Boom, but Soulbind's already been used, so they've got the Hoja coming from Aras as well as the Cogs. Abyssal Blade on both these heroes! There's the Infernal Blade, the Doom comes in, they look over at Tops, and they've got the Wave here right on, but there is Zed with the RP! Can they get the kill on either Shatter or Boom? Boom for the second time, he pops that BKB, he looks over at mid one, he's using that Infernal Blade, they get the kill on Aramis, but they lose Thompson. Thompson different for seconds, really he's got low. buyback, mid one low, running away from Boom, but they've got the Hex coming in from Tops, so that might save him, as well as the Stun Boom looking, but he can't them. Oh Just my god, they get out. out. Seb ends up dead, but if that was Seb and mid one going down, rightfully so, because he did buy back. And now the haunt comes through from mid one. They look over as they found the Venomancer of Toby. And they get the kill. He jumps forward, looking for potentially more, but Boom already TPing out, and the rest of the team trying to evacuate from this. But Topsin in some trouble. This uh, with a hook shot. They're right on him. Oh, the newly placed Sentry catches the aggressive Invoker. Maybe he feels like the Dispersion Talent's not worth it because it's going to be taken off him a lot of the time anyway. Hookshot. Hookshot comes through. That hits on a set, but they've got the Hex from Soxa. <gasps> Skewer back onto the Doom. Doom's in trouble. RP comes through. Got as well. the BKB they've got themselves the Cataclysm. The Cataclysm hits on Aramis as well as Boom. They're going to lose the first life onto the Doom. Now they look over a Shad moving in. With the He's so far away from position. One. And now where is Boom? He's away from his team. His team is nowhere close to help him. And they will get the second kill on to Boom. He has gone for two minutes. And I've been for over a minute. They'll use this glyph. They'll try to hold. Again, they just need to tighten up on some of these initiations, some of these team fights where it feels like uh, things are a bit sloppy. They'll lose the tier three. They're the first one to break high ground here for OG. Tornado misses Toby. They were looking over to start going towards bottom. Shad, he's a level 25 hit one. He's going through. They've got the Hex. The Sunstrike misses. The Guardian Greaves are there. The Venom Scale is thrown out, but one pops the BKB. Ran themselves the melee racks. Is this all they're gonna get? There's still 38 seconds without this doom. Like, so they're just holding the high ground and holding the vision control here. Spectral dagger thrown out. Otis Orb on a mid one. Boom backs off for just a second, but no tail coming over. The Venom Scale is thrown in. There's the blink as well as the War Stomp coming in on to this undying. No tail pops oh, immediately. The but they've got themselves the sun as well as the Cataclysm coming through. And there's the finger. Boom in trouble. Pops the BKB. Surrounding for now. The hook shot misses. Omni Slash bouncing around. They get the kill on the Boom as well as Toby. They don't have buyback. Omni Slash will run out. And now this is Shad in trouble. There's the start coming from Soxy who's on the high ground. They look over at this junk. They look over at the Cogwork. They'll try to chase him down. The Blade Free as well as the TP. No tornado. Oh, tornado. They'll get the kill on a Shad. They'll take out Ramis and Solari. Everybody goes down on Viking. And OG may have just secured the game because they sure as hell just jumped up 8,000 net worth. Going at the tier fours, mid one, again, leading the charge where Viking, I uh, didn't have much to throw without the Omni Slash and the Doom dead. They get that kill on a Solari. He's gone immediately. 74 seconds without buyback. Toby pops the poison over, but it's very far away from the side of OG. They've got the soul bind in, but nothing to follow it up. So things are looking dicey. Things are looking problematic for Viking, who helped it so close for so long. But 41 minutes in, it seems like they've broken the bank here for OG. Yeah, they can just... Oh, hang on. Hook shot. Hook shot. Dust. 
Cogs, a Musou Blade, and Zoxo low. Four staff away, and even with the Spirit Vessel, they just can't get the kill. The BKB has been popped by mid one. They'll use the Doom out invoker. onto the Invoker. They'll get the kill onto Soxus, so they'll take out one. But there's the Haunt jumping back towards Shad. Shad in trouble trying to run. Aramis is dead. Mid one can't get the kill onto Shad, but he looks over at Toby instead and will clean the life of the Venom Master there for him. No Tails gone for 94 seconds. They look over it. Boom, they'll pull him in. They'll get the kill. They'll take him out. It's a double kill for mid one. The Bleed Fury right on him. There's the Cataclysm coming through. Shad. You're gone, you're dead, and so are the chances of Viking taking this game. OG will take game one. Um, OG. This was such a sick game, though. Like, I, I feel really bad for Viking, because there was like, they did so well for most of this game, and then they made two huge mistakes. Seb's really struggling down in this spot later at the moment. He has a salve, but like... Yeah, I think they might even just get first blood. Yeah, he's dead to rights. Shad grabbing first blood. Solari on the run. He might drop as well, what? but no power shot, so. Socks are hitting that level two. Seb about to hit that level two up towards top, though. Mid one taking a little bit of damage, as is No Tail with battery salt from Toby. Aramis lands a stun, and Undying might die here, too. A hit of decay only on the clockwork, and it takes him a little bit longer to get the kill on No Tail, but it's now 2 nothing. For Vikings, so this is I feel like Toxin's the biggest kill on the map at the moment, but do they have enough damage to, to kill him off? Mm -hmm. you know, maybe they need an AM rotation as well with the mana bird, potentially, but you know, Toxin's gonna be so difficult to kill. Onto No Tail, they've got the cogs, and an easy kill here onto No Tail. 125 gold still at this point in the game, uh, quite a good chunk. Really liking it so far from no Viking as they just get around No Tail and they didn't get the kill within the trees, but they do get the kill here under the tier one tower. Shad also shows up. Right. I think you just have to let it go. Like you're not really able to contest oh. it too much. RP on a Topson LSA and now Topson in some trouble. They'll get the dust out. Deafening blast thrown. No the TP way. attempt and surrounded by three heroes, <laughs> safely retreats. RP committed on that. I didn't realize. He has the Mask of Madness as well. Yeah. But they, again, it's, it's down to this thing. Like, it's bottom. Okay. Toby's They're going to go for Toby. They've got the Tombstone down, but the Laguna Blade hits. No Tail dead again. Killing spree here for the Clockwork. They get around Aramis, and they'll grab the kill. Molina, or will they? Uh-oh. Stun comes through. Soxa gone. Sunstrike out. Takes out Toby. Tops in. He grabs one, and now Solari on the run. Seb, no mana to play with, so won't be able to throw the void, and we'll have to leave the Enchantress. I'd love to know how much gold No Tail had given away with Tombstones this game, though. Uh, like, it feels like it's been a huge amount. Oh, tornado EMP with the cold snap. Tops in, making this kill on Ar Aramis easy as they look for Toby and stop the TP. Grabbing themselves a second. Seb gets credit for that one, and the 2 1 bottom looking to fall as well. So we'll see how much shard can get done. This uh, Battle Fury pick up. So Battle Fury picked up. We got four heroes towards mid for OG. They're going to try and take this tier one tower over mid. And defense is looking to line up for Viking. As No Tail moves forward, drops the tombstone and the ult. Decay comes in. The damage is felt. The hook shot is thrown. They'll get the kill on a No Tail, taking him out for the sixth time. Good they shackle. Lose this tier one over mid. So Shackle lands. Toby in trouble. The God Strength Path finding mid one. It's a one for one so far. Laguna Blade with the skewer mid one in trouble. Great this on the mode. two. Oh, RP used, but he's already dead. Who whiffs? Yeah, I am having a really good time now. <laughs> it's not everybody else. I'm happy. Good. Sunstrike coming through onto Aramis, and they'll grab the kill onto the Lena. Seb gets credit for that one. Looks like they're backing off to smoke themselves, and yeah, Lena will bring over the smoke. They've already smoked on the side of OG. OG will cut through the jungle, so this is a little bit too slow coming in from Viking, but they'll go in with the tornado as well as the EMP onto the Lena. Lena in a little bit of trouble. The hookshot doesn't land, and Seb moves forward with the rest of OG to grab this kill on the four position Lena. However, again, yeah, like we'll, we'll see what they can do with the spleen checker as well as the RP boom coming around the back. They've got No Tail in some trouble to skewer away. They'll get the kill on to the Undying, and now they'll look for more. They've got the hookshot in one second. Hook shot comes in, shackle thrown, not gonna matter. Mid one though, he's gonna try and fight his nice way through this. They're gonna be throwing it to Toby. They get the kill, the RP is there. They'll take out mid one, they look over at Soxa. 
and the LSA hits. So they lock down this wing runner. They grab themselves yet another, and three gone on the side of OG is Viking to get a very successful fight once again. They get want to make a play here, though, while the RP's down. They know they have the team fight advantage, right? So. We'll see. Catch Shad, that's all that matters at this point, but. Tornado is on the money just a little bit too late. Bye. On dying up in two seconds, they'll evacuate the pit, they'll keep Shad in there, but it's down to about a fourth health. They're a little bit worried though. Ian Shad loses all his mana. Out of mana. Link oh, the RP. RP, and now the skewer back on a Thompson. He's all by himself. Seb comes in. Can he get the silences to keep Thompson alive? Yes, he can. So now the BKB's been popped. They get the cone to Toby. Seb moving forward with the help of No Tail and the rest of the team. Is my God, the Roche is so just low. Two shots, Lena, and they're gonna go after Roche themselves. They no longer have RP, and this is a problem. But Toby does have hook shot. It's not gonna matter. They're going forward. Mid one grabs the Aegis, and now they look over at Seb. They've got themselves the hook shot coming through on the mid one as well as this Night Stalker. But it won't matter. Boom ends up dead. BKB's been popped by mid one. They can continue to move on forward as Viking now need to just retreat. Shad, low on mana, just escaping. I mean, big fan of that expression. Promise. Stun thrown out at to Toby and Skewer back. Boom, controlling mid one for a moment. They've got Seb though moving forward, getting the silence out onto the Lena. Lena, nothing to do here but the LSA. And no good way to follow it up. They get the kill and now will buy back. But the mana void, not gonna matter. Shad ends up dead. He's gone for 50 seconds without buyback. They look over at Solari with the BKB been popped by Seb. Seb moving in, but Solari invis thanks to the Glimmer Cave. So they won't dive the tier two tower. Smoke comes in from Viking. They'll so try to get something done here. Mid one, you can see he's starting to pull away from uh, Shad in terms of net worth. And smoke breaks. Oh, what a Thompson tornado. right there. Tornado comes in as well as the EMP. Solari gets hit. But there's the stun from mid one. He also pops the God Strength and doing a lot of damage to this clockwork. But he survives for a moment longer thanks to the Glimmer Cape. However, will still fall. So mid one gets credit for that. Socks a couple of Two man shackle landing onto the Lena and the Enchantress. And with the Cataclysm, they're gone. Solari, Aramis, no buyback for the Lena. Um but only buyback for Solar. Toxic coming over. Shackle will land. Of course it does. And Thompson following this one up. The Shackle lasts so long. You're going to try TP out, but there's the Tornado as well as the Ice Wall down. So Skewer to get some distance, but another Shackle. And another one that lands. EMP right on the boom. And everybody here for the side of OG except for mid one. Because he is unneeded to grab this kill. And Seb will take out boom. And that feels really bad because you just committed the RP. Seems pretty good. Oh, was a meteor on Trouble again, and there's the dust. Solari done. This one's really starting to fall out of control. Where OG are just up, up, and ahead. Take the tier two. They look over to continue forward. Yeah, I don't know what they can do here. No glyph and no RP to work with. And the thing is, Am can't even fight either, right? Like, he has to just keep farming. Blink Skewer, not bad. Puts him in between the tier fours. They've got the Laguna Blade, they get the kill, but he does still have the Aegis. BKB's been popped by Seb, they'll get the kill on Aramis. And now, Hookshot flies through from Toby, but what do you do afterwards? Stormhammer hits, Toby gone. Tops him with a Sun Strike, gets the kill. God Strength pop, both racks go down mid. And mid one wants to continue the march on. And by the time it's up, you may even just lose this melee rack. RP on a two, but he only uh, scores back Seb. Tornado comes in from Topson. Topson continuing to do work here. Shad behind him. Shad trying to do all he can, but he silenced up. He's hit with the shackle shot, and they will get the kill on the anti mage. Dead for 64 seconds. That might just be the nail in the coffin here to get the call of the GG and the 2 0 for OG as they take another set of racks and go towards the tier fours. Meteor Hammer coming in once again. That's going to hit both tier fours. They'll get the kill on a mid one. So that'll hold them alive for a little bit longer. The hook shot hits on a Soxa. They've got the cogs around the wind runner. The Laguna Blade thrown over at Thompson. They've also got dust. Is he oh, out? Will it matter? I don't think it will. It's, you know, the make or break uh, objective coming up next. So 
obviously OG will start to posture near the pit as will Viking as this timer starts to tick down and there's 30 seconds away from uh, letting us know where it's going to be at afterwards but Shad he went oh, forward on this and now he's silenced they've got the Shack shot with the Cataclysm they just blow him up 70 seconds see you later and now moving forward is OG but they're in trouble Seb goes down mid one oh, getting damage, low though. but He's got way too much damage for them to handle on the side of Viking. They get the kill on a Boom, a Ramus, as well as Toby. And they're looking for the full team wipe. Solari, the last one to go down, dusted up in the Glimmer Cape. Not going to matter. And GG is called by Viking. OG with a 5 for 1 to take the series 2 up. Yeah, and that last fight there is exactly why you see the power of the Night Stalker versus the AM, right? Because, like, he pops the Manta, but as soon as this AoE silence goes down, unless AM has a BKB, they're just going to chase it. So there's, there's absolutely no hope for Shadow, unfortunately. <laughs> nice, Sam. Nice! Uh, Woo! I mean, if you kill me there, I'm leaving. <laughs> you want to die? Like, I'm left. I'm left to give you the damage. What is the damage? I don't know why. I think I got it. Johan? Or uh, maybe Ant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first win with the new roster. Celebrating with Watermelon. The Watermelon party. Dude, the insta skewer you did on Doom. What the fuck? Yeah, you got schooled. Yeah, what the fuck? You got fucking schooled.